Hey everyone, hope you guys are doing well and um, today I'm just going to talk about the case scenario or you can say uh, if you're working for a company and your company have bunch of different AWS accounts, one account is for production, another account is for testing, another account for development and so on. Uh, so how you can actually uh, find out which services are running on which particular account rather than log in via console because the console is just for the people who don't have the programmatic access. Uh, but we are the developers who are working behind the scenes. So uh, for this demonstration, I have already uh, set up my two uh, dummy or personal account you can consider. So one account is the InSage organization and another account is the InSage. These two accounts are belong to the same organization in my particular uh, scenario right now. And they, uh, for the demonstration, I'm just going to show you about the EC2 describe instances which are running in different accounts as well as the bucket so you can see like there are 17 buckets in my InSage organization account and if I just go to the s3 in my InSage account you will going to notice there are some uh, different bucket now if you want to uh, log in uh, you want to push something to the bucket you want to download some files from the bucket or you want to run some kind of a launch an ec2 instance or launch a vpc create a cloud formation template or something like that on a different account of your aws how you will going to do that uh, this case scenario happens with most of the companies employees because uh, most of the companies run at least like a four or five aws account if you are a medium or a high tier level of a companies or the enterprise level companies of the and using the AWS cloud provider. Uh, so you can see like there are 14 buckets in my this account which is and I'm signing as a test staging IAM user and in this account I'm signing as a Mohit as a user which having the 17 buckets. Uh, so we're going to use the name profile tag. What is the name profile tag? Before that I'm assuming you already have some basic knowledge about how AWS CLI works and what is an AWS CLI. And if you haven't installed AWS CLI, I'm just going to provide you the link, install it. And uh, I'm currently using the version 2.1 and later on. So if you're using the version which is less than 2.0, there are some uh, changes like it is not supported YAML uh, format, but now from the 2.0 CLI version of AWS, it supported the YAML. What does it mean? We're going to see it. Uh, so if you are a window user, you can follow the same command from the git pass terminal. And if you are a Mac user, you can actually uh, run the same command from the terminal uh, because Mac and Linux based operating systems such as Ubuntu or so Red Hat, they use the same kind of a Unix architecture. So both of them having the same kind of uh, commands you have to follow. Anyway, so I already installed and configured the AWS CLI. If it's uh, give you the error, it's not installed or it's not configured properly. Check your environmental uh, variables path and everything for the uh, Ubuntu users or the Linux users or the Mac users can check their uh, bash script file. So in my case, I'm just going to open uh, my bash RC file where I can actually provide it the path uh, where I actually put everything okay so once you actually set up and configure everything because these steps are very straightforward and if you are a developers these steps is not uh, an issue for you okay so we already have installed the aws cli and now i'm just going to show you the what is the profile tag and how it's actually beneficial for us as a developer so once you install your uh, aws cli first step is to configure Using the AWS configure, you're going to configure and provide your access key ID and the secret key access ID. This is my main account of my company, so I'm not going to show you the credentials or what inside this bucket and in which regions we are putting. So uh, now the question arises from where I'll get the access key ID and the secret access key. If you are a company uh, company's employee, then you have to ask or it completely depends upon your role as well like if you required to see any operations like uh, what instances you're running or is there any cloud formation or the CloudWatch uh, trials logs uh, cloud trail or s3 bucket files you want to check it out so it completely depends upon your role and whether the administrator or the root users of the company's account wants to give you an access as an IAM user as a programmatic access to log in to via cli and do some kind of operation 
since these are the two demonstration accounts, so I'm just go to the I am user and I'm going to show you if you are a completely naive, uh, naive and you don't know like how this works and probably say this is video is not for you. This uh, I'm assuming you have like at least like two to three months of experience. I'm not going to detail, but just want to tell you about different things. So you can see like in my I am console management right now, like you can see i am i have bunch of users uh, i'm going inside the bruce and you can actually see like i provided the set of services to the bruce uh, because i don't want to share the particular every information with bruce because he's an employee he's not like a, uh, the root or administrator access so i didn't give him so i just give him the full access of uh, some of some sort of services such as ec2 s3 rds uh, cloud9 genesis etc and if you go to the credentials, you can actually see I have given him the access key ID and the secret key access ID through which he can or he can actually log into the particular uh, CLI and run the bunch of commands he wants to run. Uh, for this thing, I'm going to stick with the test staging uh, IAM user and the Mohit IAM user so that we can actually see the list of buckets. So you can see there are 17 buckets in my this account and in this account i have maybe 14 or 13 something like that so let's just see how many buckets i have these are completely my private uh, accounts and they have private buckets uh, so if you have a want to screenshot you want to look out at it i don't care because uh, this is not uh, this is like my personal things uh, so it's fine if you want to see like what i have actually uh, putting inside this bucket uh, anyway so now you can actually see like there are two uh, I'm user one is more than another one is the test staging uh, so how we'll actually uh, and I already downloaded both of them secret access key ID and the access key ID uh, the reason why I'm showing it right now because these are the ephemeral accounts once I'm going to upload the video before uploading I'll, of course I'm going to delete it if you even if you are the only person who actually running AWS account never share your access key id or the secret key access id with anyone if you do so then the chances of uh, damage to your particular account or the damage of your company is very high so due to security reasons never share these things but i'm using as just for the demonstration after this i'm going to delete these both of the access key id and the secret key access id for the both of the i am user so uh so what we're going to do we're just going to configure the same way but now we're going to provide the profile tag using profile tag i can actually put any name so one account belongs to my insage organization another account uh, i'm user belongs to insage only so what i'm going to do for the test staging account i'm going to create test staging insage thing so using this profile tag name, actually I'm going to configure the particular access key ID of the test key. So it's asking me to provide the access key ID. So this is my access key ID. And now I'm just going to provide my secret key access key ID. And it asked me about like which region you want to choose as a default region. Uh, it's up to you whether you are in uh, in which region you are in. Like in you are in AP Southeast, you are in in Virginia, or you are in uh, London or Frankfurt region. It's completely up to you. You have to decide in which region you are you, because region is actually uh, when you define or uh, put your path in the profile, it's actually show you the result based on the region as well. So you can see like the default region I selected as US East and it, it asks you about like the what type of the output format you accept. Uh, earlier it was only like JSON and text files format, some of the for formats accepted, but now it's YAML as well. So for one profile, I'm going to select JSON and for another profile, I'm going to select the YAML format as the output format. Uh, so second account is my Mohit one, which is the belongs to the InSearch ORG. So you can see you don't have to set the profile name even if you want like to select only M1. It's just for you. It's nothing related to your AWS account. It's related to your AWS CLI. So it's completely up to you and how convenient you want to type and how you convenient you want to call the particular service via your profile tag name. So this one I'm going to set again the uh, credentials. 
So let me just copy the credentials and I'm going to provide my secret access key ID. Okay, and also I'm again because I'm in currently in the in, uh, US right now, so I'm just going to provide the US East one and I'm going to select now YAML. Uh, YAML is only supported if you are uh, having installed the CLI version, which is 2.0 or above version of 2.0 of the AWS CLI. If you are using a 1.18 or any version which is uh, less than 2.0, then you are not able to run the YAML as an output format. So we configured both of the profiles and now I'm just going to type like AWS S3 LS uh, and I'm going to provide the tag profile test staging in search. Every time if you want to run any kind of AWS service uh, with that particular account because now we already configured the in search account with the profile name test staging so you have to pro uh, pass the profile tag with every time. So now you can see like AWS S3 LS and I provided the profile tag. So you can actually see in my AWS test staging account, these are all the files. So you can see the BPA pillar details. You can see the BPA pillar details. And similarly, if I'm just going to type uh, for the second one, which is the Mohit in search. ORG, which is the strand for organization you will see the different buckets because these are belongs to the different region so you can actually see these belongs to a different region and this belongs to a different account Be basically now from the same AWS CLI I'm actually able to run uh, the AWS com CLI commands on the different accounts at the same time so using this thing is actually very beneficial when you have multiple accounts in your company and you want to switch between the accounts and you want to see what services you're running or you want to launch some kind of a uh, cloud formation template or deploy a VPC or something like that. It's completely up to your use case requirement. And also I'd like to show like if I type is uh, the reason why we selected if you remember JSON and YAML. One time we selected YAML and one time JSON and JSON we selected for the test staging account. So what I'm going to do, let me select uh, if I put everything right and I'm just going to pass the test staging in search because we have to specify which uh, account we are referring to and if everything works fine, it's actually described instances. So so we selected the test staging in search account so you can see because we selected the output format as a json so it's give us the all the informations about my all the instances i'm actually having what their security groups they are using with the subnet id ami everything is provided here and if i run the same command uh, with my mohit at the one in search org you will see the output probably in the YAML format because for the second one, so it's the same output, but in different format. The first one is in the JSON format. Now it's in the YAML format. So I prefer YAML more because it's easy uh, in terms of readability and it's give me more exposure to search out everything. Uh, so that's it from my side like uh, i just show you like how you can actually configure multiple aws account from your cli using a name profile tag it's really helpful when you have a bunch of accounts in your company and you want to switch between the accounts for uh, creating or deploying something any kind of a service or you want to check it out like uh, the cloud trails logs or something uh, hope you guys like this video if you like it just give it a thumbs up uh, I'll try to make some more use cases um, uh, before I start making something very complex I would like to know about the audience about like uh, what they want to learn so if you can actually provide something in the comments like uh, the service you want to learn from scratch or you want to go in a expert level if you want to go for the something like which is very deep dive I can actually make something very complex services like if you want to uh, how to create a VPC and with the uh, putting in the public and private subnets and then creating the VPC put some install the database 
created a Jenkins server and exposed the Jenkins servers with the application load balancer in the front. I can go as much as high. It completely depends upon you. And I can't promise like I'm going to make every day because I have work, other works to do, but I try to make as soon as possible. But I would like to know which service you want to learn and from what your level, like it's level 100, 200 or 300. Let me know guys, have a great weekend and enjoy your day.